I'm going to show you how to do your labor sheet. The right hand corner from your hyperlink, you're going to go to labor sheets. You're going to see right here, and I'm working on the roofing label, labor sheet. From your work order, has transferred that they ordered 90 bundles of shingles and 20 bundles of hip and ridge. From your return, it calculated that you have return five bundles of shingles, no hip and ridge. The system automatically count, calculates everything divided by three because there's usually three bundles per square. So it's 2833 bundles and four bundles. You're going to put your rate out here and it's going to calculate. It's going to calculate. If you have multiple rates because of pitch, say you had 10 squares that you're paying a high pitch, then you can write in what you're paying for. The amount that's you're paying difference from this, you're paying an extra $10 a square and it's going to calculate. If you've done anything else outside of the shingles, then you're going to put it in here. Type in, make sure you always fill in the first, this column here, the amount used. For your reference, you want to type in what was done, what you're paying them, and you're going to see it's going to calculate it and your bottom number has changed. If you give an advance on a job, put in a one. Negative, the amount you gave them. Then you're going to see that it's over here and your amount that you owe them has changed. If for any reason this number is not three bundles per square, then you're going to have to change this here. So this is five bundles per square, so it's going to be 2.20 squares. Um, 2.40 squares for Hip and Ridge. So you see your numbers are always changing. So that's something you're going to have to either calculate in your head or use on the calculator. You will, if you want to change this, you can put in 20 That's for your reference for um, uh, the labor crews reference. You're going to hit print, hit the print button, and then you can save it as a PDF. Hit save. Then you're going to submit this. If for any reason you don't have enough rows to put everything in, you can just add rows as you need them here. Submit. Then you can go back to your roof. You're going to have different files you can upload. And we have a crew file. You can choose that labor sheet. And you can upload the file in order for your crew to see the labor sheet if that's the way you handle things. And that's how you do labor.